Alright folks, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to change the background color of your WordPress blog or website. We're going to learn a little bit of CSS coding in the process, but it's not too tough. And if you were able to set up WordPress on your own, then I think you'll be just fine. Alright, so let's get started. Lovely. So here we are on our demo website. It is built on the responsive WordPress theme. This is a responsive WordPress site on the responsive theme. And it's also on the beach. So how did we do that? How did we get our site on this sandy beach background? Well, we're going to learn towards the end of this video. But first, let's learn how to just change the color. All right. Let's learn how to change the background color. So the first step as usual will be to go to our dashboard and once we're in our dashboard we can go to appearance and when we're in appearance we can click theme options. I'll show you what to do if your theme doesn't have theme options this section here but in general it's a good idea to have a WordPress theme with theme options especially if it's a free theme because this lets you do a lot of the things that a premium, also known as a paid theme, can do, but obviously for free. Now that we're here, we can open up the CSS styles, just click there, and we'll get our custom CSS styles window. So if your theme has a custom CSS area, this will be really easy, as well as making other edits to your design, maybe changing the menu color, or your header size, or how big your sidebar is, that'll all be a lot easier as well. In this window, type in body, just the word body, and then an open bracket, then press enter, and write background, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna wanna pick a new color. To pick a new color for our background, we can go to pixlr.com. Just scroll down and click on launch web app, and then we can create a new image. The size doesn't matter here, so just go ahead like that, and then you want to click on this little color box right here. That will open up the color selector at Pixlr, and then we can use this window and this wheel to choose exactly the right color. All right. Clicking on any specific color will open up four different shades of it off to the right and then we can use that to reset the color. This looks good. Once you have your color chosen, go ahead and copy this six digit hex. Six digit hex. Just copy that and then keep that window open in case you want a different color. Go back to the custom CSS type in a pound sign and then paste that. Make sure to close it with a semicolon and then a closed bracket, just like that. That's all you need to do right here. And if you don't have a custom CSS option on your blog, you can paste this exact code into appearance. And I'll show you that in one second. Let's just save it. So if you don't have this custom CSS styles window, you can paste that code we just wrote into appearance editor all right and usually this will open up your style.css file which is perfect and we can go ahead and paste that at the very bottom of this file all right so usually that will work as a, a workaround all right let's go see the changes we made And we can see our beautiful demo blog now has a nice, cool blue background to it. So that's looking different and looking pretty cool. All right, if you want to know how I knew that it was that body code that we had to write, this section uh, right here, I knew that because if we open up the inspect element feature on our WordPress site, just by right-clicking and doing that. Then we can see that the 
one of the more dominant classes is just called body right here right where right down where my mouse is right here just look right over there we can see body body will highlight the entire background so it refers to the whole the whole area of your site all right see how body highlights and then off to the right we can see the color that we just chose and we could even uncheck it like that so just a little hint if you want to become a WordPress developer inspect element is really useful and you can change pretty much any part of your site just by using this tool now that we know how to set a cool blue background to our site let's go ahead and go a little further and uh, let's set up a pattern let's set up a background pattern so I'm going to show you a little trick in Google Images now. Just go to Google Images like that. And once we do that, we can type in pattern BG. Just like that. Pattern BG. BG is just a abbreviation that developers use for background. All right, so we'll get all these cool backgrounds that we can use. All thanks to Google. So I want to refine our search by going to search tools, size, and icon. All right. Once we do that, we'll get really small tiling files, and these files will repeat themselves on our background, which I'll show you in just a second. All right, so let's find one that we like. I don't know, your choice will probably be different than mine, but let's try let's try this one alright that's really cool and once we're in this window we can see we have plenty of other options to choose from too so now that we're here we can right click and save image as and then just name it something now that we've saved our image we can go back to our site and we need to upload it so we can click new and then media and then we need to select files and we will find our background and open it so what we're doing now um, is just uploading the pattern BG to WordPress so that we can use it as a background alright so we need to do that step and once it is successfully uploaded we can edit it and we're not actually going to make any edits to it, we're just going to copy this link right here, this file URL. Just copy it. Now that we've copied it, it's time to bring it back to our custom CSS area. And then just write this little bit of code. All right. So we're going to write background. And then instead of putting a, a hex color, we're going to write URL, parentheses, paste that close parentheses, semicolon. And then we're just going to delete our color. All right? So pretty simple. I think you can do that, no problem. And uh, this is how you set a background image on any part of the blog. All right? So once that's written in, go ahead and save the options. All right? And if you have any questions on you know this or what this means, or how to write this, just drop me a comment and I'll help out. All right, now let's go back to our blog. And we see that we've set up this amazing blue pattern that looks like a swimming pool or something like that. Kind of has like an ocean vibe to it. And that's really beautiful. That will really make an impact on your readers. And you can choose any sort of pattern you want that will fit your niche and your blogging style. All right, if you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to change the background color of your WordPress blog, please make sure to comment, subscribe, and throw me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video. I really appreciate it. To learn more, go to dearblogger.org. That's D E A R B L O G G E R dot O R G. Thanks so much for watching.